All right, friends, let me do a quick follow-up here on uh, the idea that Easter is pagan. It's not pagan at all. I mean, if you believe it's pagan, that's on you, but it's not pagan. Not in the least. And let me show you real quickly. This won't take long. Okay, this is the only mention of Easter. So let me add a parallel. Oh. Oops, how do I do this? I've got to be able to add a parallel somehow. Oh, right there. Was that there the first time? There we go. Let's do it this way. Let's do this one here. Okay. Y habiéndole tomado preso, le puso en la cárcel, entregándole a cuatro grupos de cuatro soldados cada uno, para que le custodiasen, y se proponía sacarle al pueblo después de la Pascua. Pascua. The Passover. Okay, so now, if you want to argue that's wrong, whatever, I don't know Spanish at all. Okay. Let's do this. It's Easter. Easter is the fulfillment of the Passover. That's why it's Passover in Acts 12, verse 4, because it's fulfilled. It's post-resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's the only time that word is mentioned anywhere in the Bible in a post-resurrection form.